What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl, Joy. Back with another video. You don't see me smiling. You don't see my pretty teeth, right? <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> but I do have an attitude. So you know what? My day didn't start off great at all. It just really did. So before I get started on this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You already know from the thumbnail that I got an attitude. And you know what? Give the video a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, beware. I could be any mood from up here to down there. It just depends on how my day goes. You know, we're not promised to have a great day, but it is totally up to us. But there are some things that will piss you off. Okay? This is what I think. You're going to get pissed off with some things and your spirit is going to be a little disrupted. But the key is not to stay there. Get it off your chest, talk about it with your girls, talk about it with your boys, and then you get over it. You know what the problem is, find a solution, and then move on. Or if there's no solution and you just had a crappy day, then it is what it is. I would love to use choice words today. Oh, Lord, I would love to use those choice words today. But as you know, I can't. Anyway, I went to Burger King. They no longer have the Angry Whopper, so I don't know what I got. I got something that had jalapenos, and I asked for extra onions. I'm not seeing anybody in the next two days because, honey, I asked for extra onions. Who knows how long my breath is going to be funky, okay? So don't be calling me, you know, tomorrow. Maybe Friday you could call me, okay? But no. Anyway, <laughs> so... <laughs> The only time you can have onions and garlic, if you with somebody, I'm not. I'm not with anyone. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I don't, you know, hang out sometimes. But what I'm saying is you both need to match. So if I'm having some onions and garlic, you need to have some onions and garlic. It's about matching, okay? You got to match. Or just don't have it at all. So I'm kind of rushing this one because my fries, they're warm now. I don't really want the fries. So I got, I don't know what I got. A Texas Whopper. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be lying right now. It's a double Whopper. Not on my diet at all. But I don't care. I got an attitude. This is my little laundry basket. I got the zesty sauce right here. I'm gonna just, oh look, okay, so hold on. And y'all know I don't put these on my mukbang channel. They don't love me that much over there. <laughs> well, we got extra onions. Mmm, 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 mmm. Come on, onion. And they got jalapenos up on here. And I like to throw on zesty sauce. You know what? Let's throw on some damn ketchup. And I'm not big on mayonnaise on my stuff, but I don't care today. <laughs> and throw the bun back on it. How about that? Let me get a bite before I talk about my, I got a few things that just disturb my spirit today. And you know, I'll get over it. I'll definitely get over it, but Mm. 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 That's good, but I will say it's not that hot. I know my car seat is jacked up, so I didn't feel like sitting in the car and eating. Mm. Mm hmm. So they no longer sell the Angry Whopper. And the lady suggested this double Whopper, double patty something. She suggested this because it has jalapenos on it. This could have been. A little more generous with the zesty sauce. Okay. Back to me, sis. Let me get one more bite. Mmm. It's good, y'all. I think they only have one burger 
that has jalapenos. I did say one more bite, right? Mmm. <laughs> mm. I have to go back a couple of days, okay? Leave it number high, okay? Trying to be juicy on the system. Mm. Mm. I didn't have lunch today, so that's the other thing. So I apologize. I know it's not my food channel. So. My alarm clock went off at 4.30. But you know what? I snoozed. I did not get up. <laughs> you know, I got one person on the show. Get up, Joy. You got this. You're the best. You're the fastest. You're the greatest. You sting like a butterfly and fly like a bee. Whatever. And I was like... <laughs> the other side was like, girl, you better lay down and get your sleep. You know you got some more Z's up in you. You better snooze that clock and lay your tail right there. I was just tired. And I listened to this side. I don't listen to this side very often. <laughs> I listen to that side, okay? But I prep my lunch at night. Nobody cooked. So I stayed up later to put some chicken leg quarters in the air fryer. Clean the chicken. I was not excited to do that late at night, but I was like, I won't have anything to take for lunch. Because I try to watch what I eat. This is not on my meal plan at all. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay with moderation. So I think I had to make three sets. So I think that was like 25 minutes each and it's getting late. And I was like, no, you have to have something for lunch because I don't leave for lunch because we only get 30 minutes. So I was like, Joy, just make the chicken. You know, the kids might want the chicken when they get home from school, whatever. So I was like, I clean the chicken. I season the chicken. Bam, bam. I keep throwing the chicken in the air fryer. Take one out, put the next set in. You have to rotate them to hold on, right? And then my son, I ain't saying no names. I ain't, you know I'm not talking about certain people no more, right? That's what I said. And sorry if I'm looking at mess. I don't even care. So I was like, there was one set in the um air fryer and it was late but the chicken was too hot to put in the refrigerator and i was like i want to shower i have some editing to do that i did not do mind you i want to you know go upstairs i'm tired you know i got up at 4 30 and i did run that there i'm tired you know, some people sit around all day and don't do anything. So I'm like, this person asked me, is this chicken ready in the air fryer? I said, no, in the air fryer it has a loud beep when the timer goes off. Beep, beep, it's a loud beep. The rule of thumb has always been, if food is out, you don't turn no lights off. What you turn the lights off for? Because, you know, we moved into this townhouse. I have not seen a roach. I have not seen a roach. But the rule of thumb is you don't turn the lights off if you have food sitting out. What you turn the lights off for? That means the kitchen is not shut down. So I was like, let me go, Seth. This person comes in. And gets the last two pieces of chicken leg quarters. So that's like four pieces of chicken. Two legs. Two thighs. Because the next, the next batch is in the air fryer. And I had already packed up a chicken. 
Lake Quarter and my quinoa, my quinoa for Connie, okay? She sent like a huge bag of quinoa. Well, I'll be eating quinoa for the rest of the year. So, I go upstairs, I shower, I take a nice hot shower, right? And I'm like, I'm just tired. I'm, I'm tired, y'all. I was like, Joy, just lay down, just lay down. This person will take care of the kitchen because there's no way you can go to sleep. And that's where you sleep downstairs. Turn off all the lights and food is everywhere. There's no way. So I was like, nah, they got me. They got me. My lunch is sitting there because the chicken is still too hot to put in the fridge. I made a batch of quinoa. I was like, everything is just too hot, right? Child, I'm knocked out. I wake up in the morning when I finally got up and where I didn't run. I was like, at least I don't have to make my lunch, right? At least I don't have to make my lunch. Right? I go downstairs in the morning to make my coffee, make me a little scrambled egg. I mix my scrambled egg with quinoa because I don't do the bread. When I'm eating a burger, Everything goes out the window. Honey. What did I see? What did I see when I went downstairs? Food everywhere. My lunch still on the counter. I opened the air fryer, chicken still in the air fryer. Stuff everywhere. So you mean to tell me, <clears throat> you went to bed, you turned off all the lights downstairs, and you didn't see all this food around? You couldn't put it away or say, Mom, would you like me to put it away? Or, Mom, I put the food away. I, I got it. How do you go to bed and you're right down there? Turn or physically turn off the light in the kitchen and you see all this food and go to bed. How you do? How you? How you do? Maybe that's how y'all operate, but I'm like... The rule of thumb has always been, you do not turn the light off if, if there's a whole bunch of food around. Because if you have little critters around, that's when they come out. The little critters come out at night, just like the freaks come out at night, okay? So I'm like, you don't turn the lights off until your counter's wiped down. And even if you have stuff in the sink, okay, granted, rinse it off. So that's how my morning started, okay? I have no lunch. I have nothing to bring for lunch. Nothing, literally nothing. So I grabbed a pack of crackers and I made sure I, I, um, I scrambled some eggs and I added quinoa to it. Um, so I at least have a good breakfast. So I eat that on a drive home, you know. So I'm like, I have to have something. So I'm eating crackers for lunch. Look, I wasn't getting sick over some chicken. Over some four dollar and fifty cent chicken package of chicken, it wasn't that worth it. I'll keep an attitude, but an attitude where I'm not sick. I wasn't eating that sitting out all night. Mm mm. Maybe you would have ate it. I wasn't. I can't afford to be sick. I got too many things to do. And so that was the thing. Then I signed a project at school. The kids. Had 10 days. They did the project and it just needed a little tweaking. All they had to do was type it up and submit it in our little system. That's it. They had 10 days. I even went as far as emailing the parents. We have this coming up. This is due this date. Blah, blah, blah. It would be a great... And I believe I sent the reminder in the middle of the week. I sent the reminder email. Don't forget you have that essay you need to submit. 
I think 50% of the students did it. A parent emails me. Well, did you take into consideration that some people travel over the break? Well, let me tell you something, honey. Kids find a way to get on Instagram, Instachat, Instacart, the TikToks, YouTube. They find a lot of time to do that. They can't use their phones or use somebody else's phone or use somebody's computer or go to the public library to submit an essay that they already worked on for weeks. All I just needed to type. So you mean to tell me they couldn't find time to do that in 10 days? It would have taken them about 15, 20 minutes, but they'll spend hours gaming, texting with their friends. So now you're like, oh, don't you think we travel? And so while you were traveling, your child didn't have a cell phone. Your child didn't have a little iPad. The sense of entitlement and the excuses, that makes my nerves bad. I, I, I had a real serious issue with that. But I will say this, in the school system, most cases, the parent is always right. Yeah. So for me to give a child a zero because they did not submit their project in 10 days, I get in trouble. I'm the one, I'm the one that'll get the backlash. Me. 10 days. You call home. And I understand some people don't have internet or a computer. This day and age, you can find a way to get to a computer. There's a thing called public library. When I had to do an assignment and I didn't have a big IBM computer at home, a big Wayne computer at home, I went to the library. So it's almost like these kids don't know how to problem solve. Find a way. I was married to someone who turned the internet off when I had my own company. What did I do? I went right to McDonald's with all three of my little kids. They played in the play area and I found a way to hook up the internet and stuff. It was almost like the uh, show Cheers. As soon as we walked in, Basil! They knew me and my kids because I was there every day to use their internet. If there's a will, there's a way. If it's something that you want to do. How many little girls sneak out? Or how many boys little sne sneak out to see a little girl? Or a little boy? It's somebody that they date. They find a way to do it, don't they? If you tell, if you're a parent and you tell your child they're not doing X, Y, and Z. And they want to do X, Y, and Z. They're going to find a way. And here's the other thing too. This wasn't even on my heart. Those kids know all the words to all those hip hop songs and rap songs, but you can't find a way to type up something that you already wrote that will take you about 15 minutes in 10 days, but you know all the words to a song. But then your parents want to call and talk about, well, why did you do this? Well, he didn't have this. He didn't have that. But they know all the words to the songs and all the dances. Uh, 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 uh. They know all of that. See, now, I ain't even planning to get upset like that, but it's ridiculous. You had 10 whole days. You couldn't problem solve in 10 days. Anyway. Like I said, the parent is always right. So I need to uh, give the kids extra time just in case they don't have technology at home and they have technology available at school. So now I need to change around, you know, the submission date, which is fine because sometimes a zero is hard to come back from. But I feel as though in 10 days I emailed the parents, what I, which I didn't have to. I didn't have to do that. I sent a reminder I did not have to do that. And some people say, oh, I didn't get my essay back. There's the prompt, write another essay, 20 sentences, four little paragraphs. 
no more than 20 25 sentences you couldn't figure out 25 sentences in 10 days Then, I go to the grocery store. You know, I don't buy sausage anymore. I don't buy bacon. Bacon is expensive. Especially for me to buy it and I don't get a slice. So I'm like, I'm trying to do a little healthier, okay? D don't count the burger, okay? But, but. I'm trying to do something a little healthier. So, I want to buy some bacon because I make breakfast every morning. So, I say, Joy, just get some turkey bacon. You know, it's impossible that the kids in the house want to eat turkey bacon. Just buy turkey bacon. I was like, oh, cured and uncured. Which one should I buy? Because, you know, I'm trying to watch what I put in my body. So, my daughter and I, we look it up. Cured turkey bacon and uncured. So, we find out you want to get the uncured bacon, right? I think so. Whichever one. The one that doesn't have all the uh, antibiotics and all the chemicals and all that stuff. We got the good one. It was like an extra 75 cents. So, I'm going to claim I'm going to get that one. A couple of days go by. You know, I, I know that when I'm ready... To make me two slices, you know, the turkey bacon, it's going to be there. So now I'm ready two, three days later to make me two slices of the turkey bacon. And it ain't there. Gone. All the bacon gone. I didn't get a nibble. I didn't get nothing. Nothing. Not nothing. Nothing. Gone. So I'm trying to eat good before I go to work. Gone. Now I bought a little bag of fries to put in the air fryer. I was like, unbelievable. The bacon's gone. I didn't buy that bacon for anybody. I did not put my name on it. But there was about four slices of the bacon left. I called myself putting it on the door in between behind like the door because you know you got the little shelf where you could put like mayonnaise, mustard, whatever. Shoving it down in there. So the next morning or the next day, I can make me two pieces. So I call myself hiding it. I guess I didn't do that. Go back the next day, gone. So I guess I have another day where I'm just eating scrambled eggs and that's about it. And I was like, oh, let me have some of the little fries to go with my eggs, right? Just to have something. Sometimes I just need something to hold me, right? Gone. There's somebody who sits home all day making stuff. Needless to say... I'm here in the closet. But honestly, those things did not put me in this closet today. I get a text from my other daughter. Can you pick me up from school today? So, from my school to my daughter's school, it's almost a two-hour drive. Because it's traffic. I really need to leave school. Leave, leave school. Two hour drive. Maybe an hour and 45, 50 minutes. And y'all know, my seat is jacked up. I'm almost on a steering wheel. My seat is still jacked up. The seat was pushed forward, but it won't push back. If you don't know the backstory, my phone hit the button and it kept pushing myself. I'm like, no, 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 no. Until I was able to grab my phone. It just felt like perfectly on the button. But the button won't 
push back to push the seat back. So now I'm stuck in an upright position almost on top of the steering wheel. I swear to God. So I'm like, okay, now I got to make this drive. And she was like, oh, I thought I had a ride, but now I don't have a ride. So now I'm rushing to leave school to make it to her school in traffic. And I have to go to the bathroom. And I, I have like a one hour bladder, especially if I'm eating ice, which I was. I get to the school to find out where she was. Oh, I got a ride. Forget it.